while there are a number of presets in Illustrator for mobile, web, print, film and video, and art and illustration, often you need to go in and create a custom size. Uh, so for example, if I want to do a business card, uh, a business card is two by three and a half inches. The default measurement in Illustrator, if you're working with print, is points. It's a, more of a designer measurement. So if I know I want to make something that's uh, two inches by three and a half, start by changing this from points to inches uh, and then go in and enter 3.5 and the height should be 2. So this is, you can see the orientation changed automatically. Uh, this is for print so I could add a little bit of a bleed if I want. I'm going to make it uh, 0.5 all the way around and I want a front and back to my business card, so I'm going to make this two artboards. So Illustrator does allow you to do multi-page layouts, uh, and you do it by creating multiple artboards. So here I have two artboards. I've got a little bit of a bleed. We'll look at what that looks like in a moment, and I'm just going to click on Create. Okay, So I can see the area outside my canvas. That's the bleed. And I can see that I have two artboards. I'm going to reset essentials so that I'm, and I don't need the library open, so I'm going to change that. Actually, I'm going to go to my, my workspace here with the layers palette and the pathfinder already open. Uh, so this is giving me two artboards. If I just want to look at one at a time, go over here to artboards, double click, and it's expanded Artboard 1 to fit the screen. Artboard 2, double click on that, and there it is. So Artboard 1 is going to be the front and the back of my business card. So I'm just going to rename them front and back. Uh, artboards are different from layers. Artboards are separate spaces to work. Um, layers are separate layers. So they work slightly differently. But we should use both of them to organize our document. So I'll go to the hand tool. I'm going to go back to my first artboard. And I'm going to do the uh, text for that on one layer. So text, I'm going to type in. You would go in and add your text. I'm going to use um, Avenir. So let's just get rid of that. I'm going to type in A for Avenir and scroll down. I'm going to use Avenir Book. I'm going to start off with, it's going to start off with my name, so I'm going to make it 14 points. I just want it to be basic black text, though actually I think maybe I will go in and make it a, a gray rather than black, so I'm going to pick a charcoal gray. Um, Command R will bring up my rulers, and if I want the grid to be visible, which can help in page layout, uh, I'm going to go show grid. So now the, the grid is showing up. So I'm going to use this to place. Each one of these is divided into, let's just zoom out a little bit, eight. So each one of these blocks is an inch. Let's just double check. Yes, we're in inches. On the ruler and I got there by right clicking on it. So each one of these blocks is a square inch, so two, three and a half, and I want to leave um, at least uh, you know a little bit of a, a border around the edge. So I'm going to start with my name. And I guess I didn't actually change that color. So, whoops, double click on the text to make sure I'm in the right one. And here I'm just going to go. Actually, I just want to be in swatches. So I'm going to pick this, this one here. Okay, so the name. Uh, now you could either create a, a separate line of text or you could just click at the end and then um, type in the, the next line. So 
I would put faculty. I want it to be smaller than my name. So I'm going to select that and I am going to make it uh, 10 points. Maybe capitalize this. This will keep it lined up here. You can see this is lined up perfectly. If I want a little bit of an indent. I can always um, tabs a little bit too much of an indent, but I could do a space there. Uh, so faculty, um, IT, and I actually I like the ampersand there, so I'm going to do ampersand and creative industries. Uh, correct my spelling, hopefully, as I go along. I want this to be maybe a little bit smaller, so nine points, and I want it to be a little bit lighter, so I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. So gray, darker gray, and then um, the rest of the information. So if I wanted to be able to move them separately, I would have gone in and done them on separate lines. This way they're, they're locked together. The other thing you can do when you're using the, the type tool, you could also just draw a box rather than just click and type. And that will give you a kind of a preset space to enter your, your information. So I want it to be this size. And uh, it would be, let's say I'm going to enter my cell number. I do want it to be a, the light gray again. You can always copy a, t a style by selecting it and then clicking on the style you want to copy. So this will make this the same size and the same color. So cell number, uh, I'm just going to do 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and email. And and whatever other information needs to be on there. So again, you can kind of play around with the placing of things. It's going to be fairly simple. Um, if I wanted these to line up on the same side, I would just kind of roughly, this actually does it, just moving it over here. But I can also drag and select both of them and then use the align tool. So that will align them on the left side. Here, uh, remember I put a little bit of a space there, so if I want the same space down here, I would click and do a single space before it. So that would kind of line faculty, IT and creative industries up with cell and email. And let's just capitalize IT. And what other, whatever other kind of content I'm putting here. Uh, let's see, I Maybe I want to, I'm not going to use the logo here. So let's say I want to actually put NSCC here, NSCC first. I'm going to make that uh, italicized or maybe make it a little bit larger. And now it feels too crowded over here. So I would, you know, maybe just move this up a little bit and move this over. And you can see how the grid kind of helps you decide where to put things. So uh, let's just say I'm going to do uh, a very simple shape here. Uh, I don't want a five point star. So I'm going to just go back to the star tool, click. I'm going to make it a 12 point. Let's make it a 20 point star. See what that looks like. And I'm going to change the color. So this I want to be in orange. So line it up and maybe on the other side I would put my URL or maybe that's where I would put my lovely logo. So let's just put that on, on one side and the rest of the information on the other. I just want 
to have it like this so you can see what you would do with a two-page layout. And again, um, here you can see how you can use the grid just to kind of position things. So uh, you can also add a guide. So three and a half, uh, that would mean at two and a quarter, that would be the center. It doesn't seem like the center there. Uh, no, it would be um, 1.5, 1.75. That would be where the center is. So right there. And then you can move that over. See how that kind of snaps into place. So I have my two sides of my business card. You can zoom out if I want to see them both at the same time. Save this. I'm going to call it business card. And I'm going to make sure I click on that arrow and go to my hard drive. So save that in Illustrator. And now I am going to go in and package it for print. So I'm going to go File, Package. It's going to create a new folder in this same folder. Click on Package. Click on OK show package you can see it's created a new folder named after the original .ai file and in that i can see the package report the business card file that it created and the way it has packaged all the fonts in this case i only used avenir so it's packaged avenir there as well now if i wanted to make sure that my fonts were going to look exactly the same no matter where this was opened. I would actually make the fonts into outlines. So right, so select the text, right click on it, create outlines, and then uh, before I do, I'm not going to save this because I want the text in my original Illustrator file to remain editable and it's not editable as text when it's outlines. Uh, so file, package. Um, I don't want to save this, so I'm going to save as business card outlines because it's outline text. So saved and then we go in and file package and business card outlines folder. It's going to be in my illustrator folder package and OK. So remember, you don't want to save this in any kind of creative cloud folder. You want to make sure you save it in either on your own hard drive or the desktop so that you can copy it to the shares drive or your own hard drive later on. And if we go to that folder, uh, you can see I have the business card folder. So this one, just to preview it, you can see I've got the two different artboards show up. It's got my Avenir font. And the second one, since there are no fonts, just outlines, looks exactly the same thing. But I, this makes sure that if it's opened on a computer without Avenir, it's, it's going to look exactly the same. 